good day everyone i'm joanna pauline b jason before we start i'd like to request your attention can we lend your ears please look on your screen for you to follow our discussion once again i'm miss joanna pauline b jason together with miss alexa de la cruz and mr randy boss we are discussing about the information age in science and technology the information age is also known as the digital age or modern age computer age yes it's all about information technology or simply as the current human civilization because this is an era that brought us an instant access to knowledge that would have been difficult to find previously in our past or in our history so let's get started the history and the emergence of information age first in 3000 BC, information age originated when Sumerian developed a writing system by pictographs and other symbols. They used it to represent words for their trading goods and livestock on clay tablets, or what we called the Sumerian cuneiform. Next, in 2900 BC, beginnings of Egyptian hieroglyphic writing. The Egyptian hieroglyphic script was one of the writing systems that have been used by ancient Egyptians to represent their own language. In 1300 BC, tortoise shell and oracle bone writing were used. These are the shoulder blades of oxen or plastrons of turtles used in divination ceremonies in ancient China or called the pyromancy. pyromancy. In 500 BC, papyrus roll was used. The papyrus rolls of ancient Egypt is more nearly the direct ancestor of today's modern book. Um, papyrus as a writing material resembles as a paper. It was made from a reedy or tambo plant that flourishes in the Nile Valley. The, scri the strips of papyrus with piece of laid at right angles on top of each other are pasted together and it's made of cream colored papery sheets. In 300 BC, Chinese small seal writing was developed. It's later and more unified form, called the small seal script or Shao Zhuan. It was specifically devised as a standardized system of writing in China. In 100 AD, book or parchment codex was used. This codex Codex is essentially an ancient book consisting of one or more quires of sheets of papyrus or yes, the parchment folded together to form a group of leaves of pages. In 105 AD, woodblock, printing, and paper were invented by the Chinese. It was first used to print designs on silk cloth. Then technology found its way to another substance lately. In 1455, Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press using movable metal type. He introduced this metal movable type printing press in Europe, along with in innovations in casting the type based on a matrix and hand mold. The small number of alphabetic characters there were an important factor that added in European language. In 1755, Samuel Johnson's dictionary standardized the English spelling. His dictionary was the first one to make an effort to standardize the spelling of the words, illustrating the meanings by literary quotation from the others like Shakespeare's Milton and Dryden. In addition to that, Johnson added notes on a word's usage rather than being simply descriptive, unlike other dictionary on that time. In 1802, the Library of Congress was established, or the de facto National Library of the United States, and now is the largest library in the world. And also, 
the same year the carbon arc lamp invented. Next. In 1824, the research on the persistence of vision published. That persistence of vision is also known as the optical illusions. In 1830, a first viable, um, first viable design for a digital computer was invented, and Augusta Lady Byron wrote the world's first computer program. In 1837, the telegraph in Great Britain and the United States was invented. In 1861, motion pictures were projected onto a screen. In 1876, 1876 the all-we-know-now Dewey Decimal System was introduced. And in 1877, Edward Myrich um, demonstrated high-speed photography. In 1899, the first magnetic recordings were released. And finally, in 1902, motion picture special effects were used. Good day, I am Randy Bohos. In 1906, Lee Deferes invented the electronic amplifying tube. So the Audion was an electric detecting or amplifying vacuum tube invented by American electrical engineer Lee DeForest in 1906. So it was the first triode consisting of an evacuated glass tube containing three electrodes, a healed filament, a grid, and a plate. So in 1923, the television camera tube was invented by Z. Vorkin, American inventor Vladimir Z. Vorkin, the father of television. 1926, first practical sound movie with the premiere of Don Juan, the first feature-length movie to employ a synchronized sound system of any type throughout. So its sound tracks contained a musical score and added sound effects but no recorded dialogue. In 1939, regularly scheduled television broadcasting began in U.S. So the first television broadcast aired was the dedication of the RCA Pavilion at the 1939 New York World's Fairgrounds. In 1940, beginnings of information science as a discipline. In 1945, Vannevar Bush foresaw the invention of hypertext. So Vannevar Bush is normally considered as the father of the hypertext. In 1946, ENIAC computer was developed because of the electronic as opposed to electrochemical or electromechanical technology, it is over 1,000 times faster than any previous computer. In 1948, the birth of the field of information theory was proposed by Claude E. Shannon. He discovered the topological gain formula while investigating the functional operation of an analog computer. In 1957, Plantar transistor was in, was developed by Gene Horn, seeking a solution to reliability issues with the Mesa Mesa transistor. Fairchild Fairchild physicist Gene Horney recalled an idea he had recorded in December 1957. 1958. First integrated circuit. Jack Kilby, a DI engineer, invented the integrated circuit. It would revolutionize the electronics industry, helping make cell phones and computers widespread today. In 1960, at last, Library of Congress developed, or the LCMARC. Their intent was to create a computer readable format that could be used for bibliographic records, enabling libraries to download cataloging, share information, and search all parts of cataloging record. So that's all.
Unix is an operating system which was first developed in the 1960s and has been under constant development ever since. By operating system, we mean the suit of programs which make the computer work. It is stable, multi-user, multitasking system for servers, desktop, and laptops. In 1971, Intel was the first microprocessor introduced chip. Intel purchased the rights from Nippon Calculating Machine Corporation and launched the Intel 404 processor in its chipset with an adver advertisement in the November 15, 1971 issue of Electronic News, announcing a new era of integrated electronics. In 1972, optical laser disc was developed by, Philip, by Philips and MCA. Laser disc was first available on the market in Atlanta, Georgia on December 11, 1978, two years after the introduction of the VHS VCR and four years before the introduction of the CD, which is based on laser disc technology. 1974, MCA and Philips agreed on a standard video disc encoding format. The format was commonly known as video disc, leading to much confusion with the contemporaneous laser disc format. Laser discs are read optically with a laser beam, wherein CED discs are read physically with a stylus, and the two systems are mutually incompatible. 1975. Alter Microcomputer Kit released the first personal computer for the public. The MITS Alter 8800 was the first commercially successful personal computer created by Ed Roberts in 1974. It was purchased by the Thousand via mail order, proving there was a huge demand for computers outside universities and large corporations. 1977 Radio Shack introduced the first complete personal computer the Commodore PET, Personal Electronic Transactor, introduced. The first of several personal computers released in 1977. The PET comes fully assembled with either 4 or 8 kilobyte of memory, 8 built-in cassette tape drive, and a memory keyboard. The PET, or PET, was popular with schools and for use as a, as a home computer. 1984, Apple Macintosh computer was introduced. The first Macintosh was introduced on January 24, 1984 by Steve Jobs, and it was the first commercially successful personal computer to feature two known, but still unpopular features and the mouse the ma and the graphical user interface, interface rather than the command line interface of its prede predecessor mid-1980s. Artificial intelligence was separated from information science. Year 1980, after Al Winter duration, AI came back with expert systems. Expert systems were programmed that emulate the decision-making ability of a human expert. In the year 1980, the first national conference of the American Association of Artificial Intelligence was held at Stanford University. 1987, Hybrid Card was developed by Bill Atkinson Recipe Box Metaphor. It is developed by Bill Atkinson and commercially available in 1987. Hybrid Card is a useful development tool for a wide range of applications, including multimedia presentations and computer-based training materials. It has a built-in script language, Hybrid Talk. 1991. 450 complete works of li literature on one CD-ROM was released. Because the idea had been largely neglected after 1974, the world thought they'd invented it in, in the mid-80s, and the companies did little to dissuade this notion. In 1982, Japanese company Denon developed what we know as a CD-ROM and introduced it with Sony at a computer show in 1984. 1997, RSA encryption and network security software. Internet security code cracked for a 48-bit number. Strong encryption is con considered crucial to protect electronic privacy in the digital age. 
current U.S. government regulations allow vendors to export up to 56-bit encryption if the vendor agrees to build in a key recovery system that would help law enforcement officials decrypt messages implicated in criminal cases. Under current regulations, domestic use of encryption is unregulated. Thank you and God bless.